In the last lesson of this book, we are going to take a look at the different functions that will be very useful to us and will help us when we are creating our 3D models. Let's take a look, first of all, at the units of measurements we are working with. Go to Customize Unit Setup Here you can choose the units of measurement that you need for your project centimeters, millimeters, inches and click OK when you've chosen. So this window basically shows us the way we want to see our system. We could be working in centimeters but we want to see the measurements in meters. We could change the measurement units in display and show it differently. In this case, we'll use centimeters. Now we'll go to the toolbar I mentioned earlier. If you right click on an empty space, you can customize this bar in different ways and even add buttons and options that aren't there by default. For now, we leave it as it is and we we'll make sure that this option Toggle Scene Explorer in this area of the screen or we can place it around here. This is the panel where our layers will be, where all our project will be, and where we'll edit most of it. The next thing we'll do is see how to copy, paste or clone an object. Let's center ourselves. To copy or clone an object, we'll use Shift. When you use Shift and drag one of the axes, the object will be cloned automatically in any direction. When we clone an object, we get a window. We focus on these two options first of all, copy and instance. We'll make a copy on one side and on the other side an instance so I can show you how each of them works. On this side we'll put the instance. The difference between copy and instance is very simple. Basically a copy makes an exact clone of the object as it is. If we transformed our base object then the instance would change at the same time like a mirror effect. However, the copy would stay the same as when we clone it. This will be very useful to us, especially the instances, as the objects are all modified together. Imagine that one of our objects was covering another and we couldn't see it properly. Well, there's an option to fix this. What it does is create our object and transform it into a transparency. If you press Alt and X, as you can see, you get a kind of transparent copy where you can observe what's inside the geometry. This is similar to F3, 
that we mentioned earlier. Only in this case it shows us the wireframe of everything. And we still want to see the solid of our object that's inside. To do that, we can make certain objects transparent and observe what's inside. The next option is Height. Let's right-click on our object in Scene Explorer. On the top part of the menu we have different options. Height Selection, Unhide Scene Explorer Selection, Unhide All, Freeze Selection, Unfreeze, Unfreeze All. We we'll select Height Selection and just like other softwares, we can do this by clicking on the I button to show or hide. Another interesting option is to freeze. Right click on the object and go to Object Properties. We we'll pay attention to this window here and have a look at the interactivity to check the properties of Height and Freeze. Underneath, there's another option which is Show Frozen in Grey. As you see, it's selected, so we're going to freeze our object. We'll click on Freeze and OK. Here you can see how the object is frozen and if we make a selection it would be ignored, although it shows up in grey. Sometimes this isn't useful to us, like when we need to see a texture or a material. So what we can do is go back to Object Properties and deselect Show Frozen in Grey. Now, if you select OK, the object is still frozen, but respecting the color, texture of material applied. Finally, there's another option we might find useful. We can use this when we have very large scenes or maybe when we are creating various boxes or when we want to focus on a small object. In these cases, working through a small viewport can be uncomfortable. This is called Isolate Mode. To access it, select the object we want to isolate, let's say this one, and press Alt Q. This is isolate mode. If you press Alt and W, you can see all the views. And you can see in all the views, all we have is our object. So we can fully focus on that without anything else getting in the way. To exit Isolate mode, just press Alt and Q again or press this button here. Then we'd be back to our main scene.